Hello and welcome. Now in this video we're going to be talking about using research in order to make a PLR package unique if you want to sell it. And we're going to talk a little bit about goals in this video. Now you're looking at a PLR package that I have as a part of my membership. And what I would suggest that you do is any time that you are going to use PLR, you want to decide on what your goal is. So in other words, when you buy PLR, are you buying it in order to learn what's in it? Or are you buying it in order to resell it? Now, in general, if you have a package like something like Niche Authority, this is going to be easy to sell because it's a general topic and it will be good for newbies. Now, if you want to sell it, of course, you've got other people who are going to be involved in the market. So what you need to do is you need to make it unique by giving bonuses and then giving some kind of additional, uh, I guess, something additional that brands you right now you can also buy a program like one of ours and the goal here is not so much to uh, you know just to resell but it's really to learn and then resell so remember there are two you know there 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 are sort of two ways of looking at PLR one you can resell and then learning is a second option or you can learn as a first option and then resell as your second and so based on that you will always benefit by doing a little research and being able to add to your actual um, add to your actual content whether you resell it or otherwise so let's talk about how you're going to do research in order to add to PLR you are looking at amazon.com and amazon.com obviously has you know their own Kindle edition and I'm gonna go into the Kindle edition here for a second and go to the Kindle store and then we're just going to just uh, write in the topic of Instagram. When we get to Instagram, what you're going to find is that, of course, there are going to be lots of books inside of Instagram. Now, one of the first things you're going to do here is I'm going to click inside of Kindle Unlimited. And when you go inside of Kindle Unlimited, you're going to notice that there are 236 results. Now, that means that I can read all of these Instagram guides for free. Now, if you're going to be putting together a guide on Instagram, as long as you're giving attribution, as long as you're giving the, the author credit inside of what it, what it is that you're doing, and, and, and in fact, you know, it's a great way of actually networking. You know, sometimes you might use uh, some of what they might say as research, and what I like to do is I make sure that the author gets credit. I make sure that I say, hey, Alexander Jenkins, the author of Instagram, how to use Instagram for business. I make sure to say that they're the author. I give a link to their book. And what it does is it actually gives you, actually uh, gives your PLR a reference sense, a reference guide. It also gives you the opportunity then to network. But what the, the, the point that I wanted to bring to you was that in terms of doing my research, I get to do all this research for free because I have Kindle Unlimited. Now again, Kindle Unlimited, there's a charge to it. It's $9.99 a month, but if I wanted to do research on Kindle, I'm going to get some of these folks who have written Kindle books on Instagram. Now that's one great way to do research, and again, it does cost you money, but if you're an information marketer, you are going to benefit by getting Kindle Unlimited. Another website that I like to use is uh, called scholar.google.com and scholar.google.com will allow you basically to get scholarly research. Right now in some cases you're not going to be able to get a lot of scholarly research on something like um, on something like Instagram or you know Periscope but if I put in here streaming video you are going to get some of the some of the uh, I guess whatever publications that have been done over the last few years on streaming video you're going to even get that information and you're going to even get it obviously um, at the academic level so that means you're going to have statistics that means you're going to have theory and those are great things to add to your uh, information product in addition to the fact that um, sometimes uh, you'll find that professionals they're not so eager to be interviewed and, and a lot of professionals even myself included I don't necessarily always have time to be interviewed and and, and I will say no to a lot of interviews however uh, folks who do never say no to interviews are academics right and for the most part you can typically always get a professor I'm gonna click on the 2015 um, link so you can see 
um, that there's a, there are there are academic resources right that are available inside of Google Scholar where you've got the art but you've got the uh, author that you can actually get a hold of and they often are very willing to be uh, to be interviewed and they do a lot of research and so you're getting access to their brain at the same time now if you need to add uh, pr particularly professional information on internet marketing I would highly suggest that you subscribe to eMarketer and eMarketer is going to give you a lot of articles not all of them are going to be free um, they are a research company but the articles that they do give you on a daily basis will really help you to understand what's going on in the field of marketing and they will really benefit you from a research perspective right of being able to add credible research I'm also going to be showing you one, uh, a couple of more here. There's AdAge.com, AdvertisingAge.com, which is going to give you, uh, I mean, a great look at the at the world of big business advertising. If you want to know about trends and you want to be able to tell your customers about trends and you want to be out front of these things, when you're adding to your PLR, uh, Advertising Age is a great place to get that research. I'm actually going to stop at this point because I could continue with this uh, probably all day in giving you sites where you can actually get good information. But I would suggest that you get on the mailing list of marketing charts. This is going to, again, give you trend information. It's going to give you statistical information that you can add not only to your, uh, you know, to your PLR, but it's going to give you statistical information that you can add to your sales copy if you, uh, you know, if you need to redo it you know for instance just take a look we're just scrolling through here four out of ten millennial smartphone users listen to podcasts on their devices at least monthly I mean that's fantastic information you've got the you've got the actual source document here that you can actually take a look at and where you can take and you can and you can get uh, what goes behind this statistic and this is great information in order to give to your customers it's great information to give you credibility Right in terms of whether or not your uh, your offer or your guide is going to be worth listening to. So again, you want to make sure that you're adding this research to the actual PLR process, so that you are the authority after the sale is made, and so that also you are actually uh, giving your customers that value that they need in a product. Now, if you're working outside of the internet marketing niche, of course, you know you do want to start with Google Scholar, but then you know you 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 can also take a look at the trade journals in that particular area. And there's a site I'm going to show you here now, GameMindShare.TradePub.com. If you go to that site, you'll be able to find uh, pr probably uh, information in just about any other niche on a professional level that you might need. And you're going to be able to get um, you know, free reports, you're going to be able to get trade publications, and these things are going to really help you when you are trying to, once again, really add to what it is that your PLR is, is describing, especially those that are outside of the internet marketing niche. You'll be able to get that information at sites like tradepub.com. Now, one more reference that will actually do you well, at least from a business perspective, is uh, the Gale di Gales Directory Library. In particular, um, you're going to be looking for Gales Directory of Regional and Local Associations because those associations are going to be the ones to give you more trade publication, more information uh, on any particular niche and give it to you from a, perspe a professional perspective. So again, um, I'm not going to have time to go through Gales. That would be a, a separate video, probably be an entire course, just showing you how to go through the Gales library and as well as to get access to it. It's not necessarily hard to easy to get unless you're part of a library or a college library. But again, this is a valuable resource in terms of research that you can add to your PLR as well as put together new products. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.